everybody welcome back to my channel today's topic is about 10 kinds of toxic people you need to get out of your life now remember like share subscribe hit the notification bell to receive all of my content leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment your response is highly appreciated definition of toxic is poisonous and it's major for us of society to understand that there are some toxic people in this world and if they are in our lives we need to get them out of our lives and it's major for us of society to know how to look for these toxic behaviors that these people have that are in our lives and I have arranged 10 kinds of toxic people you need to get out of your life in life we come in contact with a lot of different people select a few people in the world with like-minded minds form a circle of individuals that we call friends and associates but we must make sure that these people that we have accepted to be a part of our life are they there for our best interest or not and this is where we find ourselves at point one time wasters these type of people are always repeating the same old stories that they have went through in their lives or these type of people never have nothing productive or constructive to say all they do is waste your time their job is to take up your valuable time with their nonsense and we must find creative ways to build onto our time and take a hundred percent responsibility for who we give our time to be mindful of this number two the criticizer this person never has anything constructive to say or do and it's we have to be responsible for how we respond to these kind of people because the goal is not to allow them to have any head space in our heads we must be mindful of this number three the victim who always believes everything is unfair and unjust they feel like they're constantly getting picked on they are masters of playing the blame game got to stay away from these type of people this person can be dangerous and only a matter of time until they pull you in their blame game and you get caught up in their storm be mindful of this number four the always negative they never have anything positive to say they don't you don't supposed to share your dreams with these type of people either you can't take what they say personal because they have a negative mindset you don't know where this pessimism person is coming from and that's not your job to figure out or to find out you must not allow this person any of your time 
Number five, hotheads. These type of people are always getting upset and acting out of character. And this can't be tolerated in our life. Because this often leads to regrets and are very unproductive on us. And when you get dragged into their storm, only, only your realization that this environment is not for you will save you. You must get out of this environment ASAP. Number six, the emotionless. These type of people, they don't show no compassion or no empathy or no love. And by them not showing this to us, this affects our overall experience in life. And we need to get out of this environment because it's detrimental to your well-being. Number seven, liars. One thing about a liar is that they can't believe anyone or anything. But we form habits of having people around, good or bad. This is our downfall. A liar is someone who tries to negatively alter your reality. And you must rid yourself of this. And always remember, if you can't trust someone or have doubts, if you can trust them, then you don't really need these people around you. Number eight, manipulators. These are people who will use you in any way they can. Their only focus is on getting what they want and they will go to any extreme possible to get what they want. And we must get these type of people out of our environment. Number nine, the intentional hurtful. Everything that comes out of these people mouths is hate, is hurtful, and it toward whoever they're talking to. When something small happens, they try to call you out on it and question your character your integrity, and your value. You can't take what they say personally, even if it is personal. It's not your place to figure out what's their motive or agenda. Your best bet is to get out of that environment. Number 10, the always stressed out. Let me tell you something. We are all wired to be stressed from history. This was an inheritance that we had to use to rely on our safety when we didn't have no other resources to rely on for our safety. We relied on stress and our instincts to keep us from harm's way. But now in this day and age, us living in a highly stressful mindset is not ideal. And we must learn that early on. And if you have anyone in your life or around you that always complains about being stressed out and complaining about things in life that is stressing them to, to the maximum, you must mind, remind them that they have to be 
responsible for the stress that they have and learn how to manage their stress because everyone has stress. But the only way you are successful at dealing with stress is learning how to manage it correctly. I'm gonna do a recap. Number one, time wasters. Number two, criticizers. Number three, victims. Number four, the always negative. Number five, hotheads. Number six, the emotionalists. Number seven, liars. Number eight, manipulators. Number nine, the intentional, hurtful. Number 10, the always stressed out. It's major for us of society to understand that these type of toxic people that are in the world, we must be aware to not allow these people to become a part of our circle or to become a part of our friendship because this type of person is detrimental to your overall well-being and will subsequently cause you not to be productive in your life and will derail any success that you are striving to achieve in your life. So it's important for you to rid yourself and your environment of any toxic people or thing that is in your life. Apply these 10 suggestions to your mindset so that you will know when you run into a toxic person, you will know to get them away from you as quick as possible. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated.